Patience is wearing thin among people in Canada's capital as protesters remain dug in on the city streets. They've occupied Ottawa for about 12 days now, and today uh, they took it to another level. The convoy of truckers is now causing disruptions at the busiest border crossing between the U.S. and Canada. Protesters stopped traffic in both directions today at the Ambassador Bridge. It links Detroit with Windsor, Ontario, and it's a vital trade route for the auto industry. Police officials say U.S.-bound traffic is now moving, though slowly. But according to Canada's government site, the bridge is still temporarily closed. The trucker convoy began in Ottawa as a rally against vaccine mandates, but it's escalated into a broader protest against Canadian government and its COVID rules. The convoy has essentially brought Ottawa to a standstill. And for now, protesters show no sign they'll be leaving. NBC's Ellison Barber is there. Today in Ottawa, there are still countless protesters, trucks all along the streets throughout the city. Everywhere you look, almost, you can see the trucks that kind of just continue to go over there, sort of more in the front of Parliament, is one of kind of the main gathering areas where we've seen people come and gather. You can see more of the cars, the people here. For the most part, things have been calm. You can hear some people sh shouting a freedom at us now. Things largely have been jovial. There is a strong anti-media sentiment within these areas. You hear people yelling at us as we walk, tell the truth. But again, for the most part, the protesters we've seen out here, they have been peaceful. They have very strong opinions and they want to make sure the government hears them. They are frustrated. Most of the people we have spoken to, they say they are here because they want to see an end to all COVID restrictions and all COVID mandates. They say that means no masks, no vaccines, Seen mandates, no indoor dining restrictions, and they say they will stay out here blocking the streets, many of them sleeping in tents or in their trucks until they see an end to those mandates. The Prime Minister, he has said that this does not represent Canada, that these uh, people are not uh, representing most of Canada and that they are, in his view, the fringe. People here, they say that they don't believe that's true at all. They say they do represent many people here. And that term, the fringe, it's almost become a bit of a term, a rallying cry, if you will. We saw one person walking with a shirt on that said the French.